Hi, I'm Billy Bragg. Welcome to Bragg Close in Bargain. This is Music 365. So, how, just to, hang on a sec. Hang on. <laughs> Are you alright there? You've got a sort of a smile, you've got a sort of a smile. <laughs> that I don't. Yeah. Um, it's not something I expected to uh, to to find myself doing on a day like today. And when uh, when I got a letter from the uh, the Bowling and Forest Association, I, I thought to myself, well, who else is uh, who else has this happened to? I can think of embarking, and I sort of looked around for some names and the people you might think like Bobby Moore and uh, and Alf Ramsey haven't yet been elevated to this, but. Um, if you were, uh, those of you who aren't local from around, if you just walk the other side of the railway lines over there, the other side across from Maysville Park, there's a little housing estate there. And uh, one of my best friends lived down there when I went to school here. He lived down Bevan Avenue, which was named after Nye Bevan. And the road into Bevan Avenue is uh, Kirardi Drive, which was named after Kirardi, the founder of the, uh, the Labour Party. And uh, John Burns got a drive named after him as well. He was. Uh, a union leader, but the only other person I could find who had a clothes named after him was Ben Tillett. Now, you may not know who Ben Tillett was. Ben Tillett uh, was the founder of the Dock Workers Union who led the 1889 dock strike, and uh, which led to the, the foundation of the trade union movement in this country, eventually to the Labour Representation Committee, which in the early years of this century became the Labour Party itself. So, if I'm going to be on a par with anyone who having a clothes named after me, I'm very, very proud very very proud it should be Ben Tillett but when I was growing up in Barking the sort of the names of the people were that you would see on on street corners were were not those kind of people they were the famous families of Barking the, the Fanshaws who owned the Manor Porters at this road here Porters Avenue is named after the uh, the Gascoins who owned huge parts of the Manor of Barking and um, as this it doesn't actually say Billy Bragg, folks. <laughs> I'm going to claim it actually for my family because we've been here 100 years. It's about time we have something named after us. My brother represented Barking in uh, swimming when he was at school. My mum here worked up at the technical college before he decided to become a university and was a uh, help there in the, uh, in the domestic science department. My dad, who grew up, was born here and uh, embodied some of the best things about Barking. He was self-taught and the knowledge and the skills that he had he put at the disposal of his friends and neighbours. Of his dad, my grandfather, who uh, was an ARP warden during the war, put out incendiary bombs down Park Avenue and stirrup pump with his grandfather. His dad, who was a publican on Barking Quay at the turn of the century when Barking still had the remnants of a fishing fleet down there and the town quay was the centre of the town. My grandmother, my mum's mum, who brought up six kids on her own in Niverfield Road, just up the road here. My dad's mum, who, uh, who lived, played in Barking Park as a girl, as I played there, as my kids played there. And her dad, George Austin, who was, took part in the 1911 dock strike when he was dismissed. He was a permanent labourer in the St Catherine's docks. And uh, he would undoubtedly, during that strike, of March from St Catherine's Dock down to Tower Hill every other day to hear public meetings addressed by the leader of the Dock Workers Union at the time, Ben Tillett. So in the name of all those people, I declare this close formally open. Thank you. <laughs> Good on sign, I'll tell you. I've been back by the E. Stay straight. Big smile at me. I bet the council's going to have to pay for a few of these. We're on that. Is it in one ear? This is what I do in my spare time. Whenever I come and visit my mum. Yeah. Yeah. You sang in your spare time. That's my work.